a uh, huge shout out to uh, Blast Ears and Luxy Luke for making this video happen. Uh, I originally reached out to them a while ago and uh, asked if I could show off a setup they made for me in a video. Turns out they wanted to optimize it a bunch before I uploaded it and now it's crazy good. So again, huge shout out to Blast Ears and Luxy Luke for making this video happen. Also, sorry for not getting this out yesterday. I ended up getting a bunch of OBS crashes and lost hours of footage overall because all my footage kept getting corrupted, so I decided to take a, a day away from getting this out there. Alright, we're just gonna start by doing this really quick. Um, we're gonna we're gonna set the first platform down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to here. We're gonna put one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna get our platform, put it right there in the corner, and just go up by 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, that's our first platform. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the rest of the platforms out for the push. So this net. Uh, this, uh, this next one you're gonna place is gonna go right here, except it's gonna be up one unit. So you should have something like this now. Now we're gonna have to place another three units up, so put it back down on the ground. One, two, three. This one's gonna be seven units away from the base. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Kind of like this. Also, I didn't mean to say away from the base. I'm not away from the edge right here. All right, now we're gonna get another platform out. This one's gonna be kind of underlapping the, the starting one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's see how we're going to do this. So this one, kind of put it directly under, go two to the right. So I love how choppy that looks. Two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there you go. This is going to be the cannon uh, platform, all that stuff. All right, now we're going to put another platform down. It's going to be overlapping this one, so we could go up to it and then go one above it, just like this. We're going to go one unit over it, so five units to the right, just like this. Now we're going to go underneath this platform directly. We're going to put it on the floor and go up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One to the left. There you go. So you should have something like this. Alright. Now, there's going to be another overlapping platform. We're going to go to height 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Overlap this platform by one unit. And you're going to place it here. So you should have these two little tiles to stand on. Now, this part will be a lot easier to build. Uh, we're going to go up one unit above this one as well. And it's going to overlap by four. Just like this, perfectly aligned. Now we're going to do the same thing with one lower, but only by two units. Uh, in terms of how it overlaps. So, you should have this now. Make sure you uh, copy this down. Now, go directly under this platform and go up nine units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And place those two right there. All right, you should have all of this down. If you need to go rewatch something, go do that. Now's a good time because this next line is where everything gets really annoying to build and I say that very truthfully because I actually messed it up once in a recording yesterday and I was kind of furious. All right, so since this one is at height nine, we do need to get to 11, so we will go one, two. 
we could do 10 and 11. Now, what we're gonna do is we are just gonna align them and place right here. So they should kind of be touching like that. Let me double check that this is at height 11 too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. And we're gonna go up to 12. Oh, wait, no, we can't do that just yet. I'll place this off to the side for a second. What we need to do first is we need to get our small platform. So, you do need a couple of these for this setup, by the way. I think you need three in total. Uh, you could buy them from the mask man if you don't have them. You're gonna place it right here. here I'll get the grid out so you can see the exact placement. Now, we're gonna get that 12 unit high platform. Place it just there. So, if you wanna know you did it right, until it touches that platform pole, there, sh there should be these four magifiers or units. Nice, okay. If you have the same result as me, you're doing everything correct. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get another hydraulic, and that's gonna be the case for quite some time. We're gonna go up to the max height of 15. You'll know you do this correctly because you will be one platform over this one. Now put them corner to corner. So just like this, you're gonna go to left two units. One, two. They are not overlapping at all. Just keep that in mind. This platform is being overlapped a little bit, but not this one. This is how I uh, I use my abilities to build because I'm pretty bad with platforms, if I'm being truthful. All right, now we're gonna go back to the height of 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. We're gonna place this one off to the edge of the base next to the other. 11 height so you should have this little space to walk around on make sure the units are all correct and stuff too now you're gonna get another uh, small platform I'm gonna place this right here right along the edge as well kind of centered though I'll get the grid up as well for you guys all right nice so what we'll do now is we will go right here and we're going to go to height 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get another height 15. So you could just go to maximum. And I'm gonna put it right here so in such you should be able to walk around on all three of these height 15 platforms the spawn platform uh, and then the two hydraulics over here should connect as well by one unit now this one's gonna be a little bit annoying to do but we're gonna get a standard platform you don't have a standard but you probably should if you don't have the standard, you could use a second hydraulic at height 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So a platform at the height of 7 or a standard. Um, this needs to be one unit higher than the height 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this one to height 8 on top of it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, now, you're going to pick up the standard platform to move this whole thing. It's going to overlap this one by quite a lot, actually. So, give me a second. Should overlap just like this. So, I'll pull up the units as well. Should be able to place just like that. We're gonna get another platform. This one's gonna be at height 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
This one's gonna be kind of underlapping itself. Oh, that is very annoying to place. If you want an easy way to place this one as well. Wait, did I? Hold on. Let me double check something. Oh, no wonder I was doing that wrong. I did it completely wrong. Alright, so. All I was doing was going out this way, but you also have to go to the right here. Just like that. So. You could judge it off of this. Remember, this platform is height 11. I thought I misplaced something. I was just being dumb and I wasn't doing a step with that one. I'm kind of tired. It's like 5.40 a.m., by the way. All right. Let's see what we have next. All right, we've got a platform to place at a height of 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And this one's going to be the same alignment as this one. But it's going to be placed pretty sure right here. Yep, there we go. Now that's actually the platform uh, that the ruby crystallizer is going to be on. And we're going to need another platform underneath that. So... This one's going to be at a height of 10. So we could go right here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just like that. Now, we're going to get another platform. Um, We're going to put it right here. We're going to go... It's kind of an annoying one to place. I'm actually going to use magnifiers to, to make sure I do this right. Two, three, four, five. Alright, and we're going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can now remove platforms. This is what your platforms should look like if you're doing stuff correctly. Let me get a, let me get a floodlight out for you guys, because... That is dark. There you go. It looks like a mess. I know. It really does. But it'll it'll all make sense. Alright. So, now we're about to do the last one. We're going to set this to a height of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just like this. And this is going to overlap this one back here, this height 7. Go 1, 2, 3. That's wrong. We're going to go to overlap by 2. That would have been wrong. Okay, so just like this. These ones should be kind of touching. And I know this because I made this mistake uh, last time. So these should be kind of touching each other now. Alright, that line is done now. So, let's get going on the next and final line. I'm going to go to a height of 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. An easy way to place this one is to go directly under, and you're going to go 6 units over to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can place that there. Now, we're going to go to a height of 12, so this is 14, so we're going to go 13 and 12. And you're just going to underlap it by two units like this. You can see they are overlapping like that. Alright. Now, this part's definitely not super fun to do, but we're going to get it done. Start off in the same spot and go down one unit. Go four units to the right. One, two, three, four. And then pull it out by one. So you should have this ugly thing now. So, 
we're going to need to place a small platform. And we're going to place that. Let me get the exact placement. Right here. You don't have to move the, the platform over here either to place it, which is nice. Now we're going to get another platform at a height of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this one is just going to be right here. Now, go to this 11 unit high platform right here. You're going to go up to 14. 1, 2, 3, or sorry, uh, 12, 11, or 12, 11. Dude, I can't even count. 12, 13, 14. And then we're going to go five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, when I said it's 5.48 in the morning, like, I wasn't kidding. I'm pretty damn tired. I just said 12.11 when I was trying to count up. All right. Now that I'm not uh, bullying myself, we're going to go back to the height of 14. Make sure that also looks correct as well. Yes, it does. Everything looks good. That's what we want to see. Okay. So, if you're curious to what this is for, uh, this mini platform right here, this is for uh, Black Dwarf. But, now, um, we're going to go to the height of 14, like I said. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we're just going to place 1, 2, 3 all along. Now, we're going to go over to the top of this platform actually lower it as much as possible and then you're gonna go one two three four uh actually go to three so one two three you're gonna go six units to the right one two three four five six now we're gonna go up to four you're gonna place it like this, so there should be another six units here. You're going to place two more of these platforms. And you're done. That's all of the platforms. I don't think there is a single missing platform. Uh, but if so, we'd figure that out anyways. But this is annoying as shit to build, as you can see. And this time I actually didn't mess anything up either. And OBS has not yet crashed. So... <laughs> I'm happy, dude, oh my god, that's painfully annoying to, to deal with um, OBS crashes. Alright, I'm going to start out by getting two Heart of the Voids, and that's great. Now we're going to get the Havia Mine out. I'm going to put a Dragon Cannon. Alright, if the ores are launching, you did something alright. You're gonna put excellent upgrader. You're gonna get a green teleporter receiver. And you're gonna put it backwards. Like this. Now over here we're gonna get Angel's Blessing. Let's put that in the corner. All right, now we're gonna need to get a dreamer's life for the push. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna start off back here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three to the right. One, two, three. So it should look just like this. The conveyor kind of going into that pole. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get some Easter walls, specifically two of them. I'm going to place one of them in this uh, corner over here. The other one completely turned around and one unit closer to us. So just like this. Now we're going to get a... Rose Injustice. 
and place it just like this. Does not have to be shiny, by the way. Could be the normal one. I'm just using whatever comes to my mind first, truthfully. All right. Now we're actually going to start building the um, the cannon line, or, or not the cannon line, uh, the, the first line. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Temporal Armageddon. And a Maryland Sorcery. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to put a Mad Monstrous Melter. Oh, I'm like scratching my eye right now. All right, we're gonna get a mad monstrous melter. So from this little corner right here that I'm I'm in, we're gonna go one, two, and then forward one, just like that. And ores should start exploding. You could even see the fire coming out right there. That means you did it right. Now we're gonna put death cap. Make sure it's facing backwards so that it hits properly. Now, we're gonna use Swag City. And another Dreamer's Life is gonna be needed. Now we're gonna use Astral Setter. And a Vulcan's Wrath. Alright, we're going to go back under and put more Mad Monstrous Melters as well. So this is a little more annoying to do, but we're going to go to this corner and we're just going to go forward by two. And we're going to do the same thing for this platform right here. Now in between them, we're going to get a portable pearl enhancer facing that way and place it right there. So if you want to look at the units, I'll pull out a magnifier really quick so you can see the tiles. Okay. Now we're going to get Alien Relic. One, two, three, four, five. Dude, I've built this setup so many times for this video, I'm starting to remember some of it by heart too. Alright, we're going to put our Dragon Cannon right here, as well as a Big Bunny right here. And then on top, we're going to get Eye Teleporter. It's going to look just like this. So make sure you put a Quasar down, just in case your ores start to die like that. Or in case they don't die, I guess. Alright. Now, we're going to go to this platform right here that I'm on. We're going to put Cybeg in the corner over here. We're going to get Walrus. Clover Refiner. And Darkest Upgrader. All like this. Now we're gonna put a glass butterfly right here in the corner. Then we are going to get pizza list. Deluxe beehive. And the one million upgrader. If you don't have a one million upgrader, you could actually use Reaper's Fortress. Um, this is one of the few items in here that you could actually efficiently replace if you don't have it. So, just figured I would mention that because I know a few people who don't. Now, we're gonna put Energy Core. The Boy. And... Bright Folly. Now, we're going to get the Methuselah's Mask. And a true Overlord device. Now, make sure you do put the Mad Monstrous Melter underneath it. 
So we're just going to put this right here. And you should see the fire go through right there. Hold on, let me actually like get up top. Just like that. Now, we're going to put a quantum or cleaner. A tropical breeze. And a Ooftopian. Make sure Ooftopian is backwards as well. Now we're going to get Cupid's arrow. Now the, uh, the, the three Christmas ghosts. So right over here we're going to place... Well, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to put Ghosts of Christmas Past right here. Phantom of Christmas Future back here. And then I'm going to put Spectre of Christmas Present right here. Now, I'm going to put the Ruby Crystallizer. And a Meatball Sandwich in the corner. Oh, hold on. Okay. If your thing looks like this, you're going to have to move all of this over by one unit, because I did mess it up, unfortunately. So you're going to take all of these. There we go. It's an easy fix. You'll know Meatball is hitting if it's going through the edge like that. So, apologies. Alright. Now we're going to get a Dark Seed Tree. And this is going to be a little annoying to place. But... Here you go. One, two, three. And is it hitting? It is. Beautiful. So, now we're going to get a Dragon Cannon to make sure that this works. And the turn is working. So we have not screwed anything up. Really quick, we're gonna get a Mad Monstrous Melter as well over here. And start out off in the corner of this platform. You're gonna go one, two to the right, and then forward one. Should start exploding more ores on the Ruby Crystallizer now. So what we're gonna do now is up on top of this platform, we're gonna need a couple pretty decently rare items. We're gonna use Golden Clover Blaster. We're going to use Ornament Blaster and Final Fabergé. Now we're going to get Enchanted Library. Big Fungus over here as well. Then we're going to get virtual gear work. Place it right over like that. Now we're going to put Black Dwarf down. Make sure Black Dwarf is backwards as well. Now this is going to be a little bit annoying, but we're going to get Empyrean Monument. Set it to the max height. We're going to go underneath here. As you can see, you look at this platform, you can see the bottom of Empyrean sticking out. So we're going to go to the corner, we're going to go one, two, to perfectly align that with the conveyor. Now you'll know Black Dwarf is sitting. If the corner of Black Dwarf is sticking out through the bottom like this. Alright. So now, we're going to get... Executive Pillars. Cooling Chamber. Now we're going to build our eval line. Actually, first, let's, uh, let's do the pushes first. So let's get Eternal Journey really quick. Or Eternal Fracture, sorry. And it's going to face this way. We're going to go one unit forward. And then four units to the left. One, two, three, four. 
Now, we're gonna place another one facing the same direction. At the same spot, just one unit apart, so... One unit gap. Okay, now these ones are gonna be touching. And you're gonna place another one touching, but facing the opposite direction right here. Just like this. Though, though you'll know how to align them uh, based off of this. So, get your evals. You're gonna place an eval like this. An eval like this. Now we're gonna put Tesla Refuter. Now another eval like that. Now Daystrophy. Another eval. Final upgrader. A teleporter under this eval. This one, and this one. Now you could take two pizza conveyors. I do suggest doing this. Take two pizza conveyors. Put them so that chimneys are over the green teleporter. You have a little wall there for yourself. Now, let's get Statue of Knowledge. Put that right here. We're going to go back here, and we're going to put some Dreamer's items. For instance, I'm going to do uh, Dreamer's Dreamer's Blight, Dreamer's Devastation, Dreamer's Valor, Dreamer's Nightmare, and Dreamer's Anguish. I'm just going to do those ones. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting up the evals themselves. So, the first eval is going to be less than, and then OVG. The second eval is going to be greater than, and D, N, O, N, G, N, T, L. The third eval is going to be less than, with U, Q, G, N, T. And the final eval is going to be less than with USPT GNTL. Now we put a dark illuminator. We're going to do two things really quick. I'm going to put dark illuminator. I'm going to replace the Heart of the Voids. And I'm going to pulse all my ores. Now, let's see if they go through. It's going through Daystrophy now. Now it should go through Final Upgrader, and we should get Inf. Or a very high amount of money. Yep. They're sent. So, this setup is pretty damn consistent. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing absolutely anything. I don't think I'm missing a single item here. I'm gonna double check to be sure. Nope, I double checked and nothing's missing, so there's nothing I gotta kinda announce here. Now, like I said, this is a really, really consistent setup. It works pretty flawlessly, and I rarely ever have any issues with life skipping or just like a super late rebirth, like a 20 plus second rebirth. Uh, most of my reverts now are consistently between 13 to 15 seconds, with an occasional 16. And I'll just kind of show it off for a minute, and rebirth in the background, as you can see. I'll also show my splits, uh, during this video, too, because I think that's pretty useful, but... I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all that really goes into this setup. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, there's not a whole lot to be, uh, worrying about. There's sent. It's usually that first, like, initial ore that's also worth just a lot of money. You also have a couple, like, mid ores, too. Uh, going right after. Like, as you've seen, when I finished building the setup, there's a couple... Really not enough ore value ores that came in, like, right after the 
the initial good ore. So, I don't know. It happens sometimes, but n there's never really moments where you're not skipping 20. Let's see if I can get a 13 for the video. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good setup. Uh, like I said, huge shout out to Blastiers and Luke, Luke for not only just, like, kind of letting me post this, but also optimizing the setup a lot compared to uh, what it originally was. Not that it was originally bad at all. Like, I was perfectly excited to post it, and they were just like, nope. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have you wait, a, like, a day or two. Yeah, there's the 13. So, that's really how easy it is. Uh... Like, we're gonna have you wait a day or two, let's let's optimize this. Roblox went down, so we had to wait even longer. And then... I just ended up getting kind of busy with school to get this out. Oh, 18, that's kind of wild. But, it's... it's pretty solid. I love this setup. I have done, like, up to, like, 5,000 lives in an hour at one point with it. It's really damn good. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. It's it's pretty overpowered, and I'm happy to no longer have that outdated 16 second inf setup on my channel as like the main attraction because that was so outdated, and I still get comments about it. So this was kind of the the end of that era, honestly. Um, I'm happy to have this out because this is just so much better. I'll rebirth one more time, and then I'm going to show you guys the splits. So, um, the best way to put it is that in the first one, something to please take note of is that you don't put this beginning push in the first layout. So, I'll show you really quick. But, all that goes into the first split is the dragon cannon piece and the mine all the way up until the ruby platform and the mad monstrous one underneath it of course as well as the two heart of the voids now underneath it you can place or uh, on the second one not underneath i was talking about the mad monstrous one uh yeah you, underneath the ruby you get the the mad monstrous plot too now for the second one you get your quasar all your dreamers items the initial tp push and then everything after the ruby and mad monstrous combo that's it that's that's really it now it is like any end game setup somewhat dependent on ping so like me if you don't really have the best internet you might not get the best times in the world all the time um some days when my internet's feeling better than others I'm actually not tossing terribly. Um, some days it's just not really worth bothering, to be honest, but that's all dependent on the user as well, so just keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, yeah, I just felt like I should share this with you guys. I'm really happy to get this out. Uh, just in case anyone's having any problems, I will go over the setup really quick and show it off. If you don't know how to do this, by the way, this free cam, press Shift and M. It is in-game for everybody to use. Alright, that's going to be it for me here today. Um, i got to upload this and then get to class in like an hour or so. You probably won't see this until after school, though, because YouTube upload times when I'm not having good internet, like right now, is pretty atrocious. I'm also just not rebirthing as fast as I can anyways at the moment because I'm kind of showing stuff off, but you get the point. All right, you guys, take care. Make sure to subscribe, like, follow, whatever whatever you want to do as long as it uh, helps support because this video was tedious as hell to get out because, like I said, I was losing every recording of this I possibly made, so... Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Happy Halloween.